This is the coffee that I was served this morning. It's very nice of my wife. See, nice wife. Good morning. Good morning, Kelly. We're off. Welcome to Armstrong's Everyday Vacay. Today we're gonna to go down to the Omaha Henry Dorley Zoo. That's down off of 13th Street in between Omaha and uh, Council Bluffs, pretty much. Um, I don't know, it's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be like 92 out today and sunny. So we're gonna take advantage of that and let you guys see some of the zoo. There's the old Rosenblatt Stadium, the old remnants. You see the yellow pole that represents the first base line. And uh, out here is where they would be hitting a home run. There's a black stadium where they held the College World Series for a long time. Now it's more towards the downtown area. The dome is the uh, Desert Dome. And this big, uh, what would we call that, rock structure is the IMAX Theater where they house 2D and 3D films on a large screen. They've made a lot of recent changes here. This front entrance is probably about a year old, right? Maybe one nice, year. Doing yeah, there's always construction here, but this is the front entrance of the Henry Dorley Zoo. As you come in off the entrance, you can kind of make a right or a left. We're going to go right, the African safari. Africa. Africa. There's a butterfly exhibit where you can walk around in that like, kind of like solarium and uh, have all kinds of butterflies land on you. That's pretty neat. Get a good look at that. Here's the entrance to it. We have a scary Ari here at the zoo. Sky far eight prices. It's terrifying. Yeah, you kind of feel like you're not too secured and leaning forward, but I always think my kids are gonna fall out the bottom of it. There hasn't been any problems though that I know of, but it just gives you kind of a weird sensation. So explore the grasslands. This is what they got in Africa here. Giraffe, rhinos. They uh, recently shipped these elephants from Africa on an airplane. You see some rhinos? Yeah, I do see an ostrich. And I see some, they look kind of like deer. God, everything's growing really well. Did a great job. Look at these tall grasses. Like I said it can't be over a year and a half old, but everything looks looks real good. Yeah. Look at the giraffes. They're leaving a trail, so the other ones coming behind can smell that, or the year when they right. urinate, they can smell the sprays of urine too. So it's another one. Malcolm is our little boy. He's coming towards right here. He's four years old. I can't tell the difference. Toys R Us put you out of business? Put you in business? I heard they're kind of going out of business. Walking inside here, sometimes they got some uh, giraffes inside. Well, that's cool. This is where they had them while they were building all of that. And then because it gets so cold here, they stayed in here and slowly started introducing them outside. Oh, here we go. He's looking at you. Hey. Hi. He's like, Toy hey, Toys R Us. So they'll keep them in here during the winter? Sometimes? Probably. I'm guessing. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't snow in Africa, does it? He likes the taste of that railing. Mmm. It's good railing. 
sounds like. This is the giraffe interaction area, but they said nobody's hungry today. You can buy food and feed them. And then they have a little hand wash station over here. You say nobody's hungry? Nobody's hungry. I wonder if they could call them over. No. No? They're not like dogs. So what is that right there? Tell that guy to keep it down over there. That's an ostrich egg. The other way? Good look at an ostrich egg. It can actually fit 24. There, it's a real one too. It's a real one? Yeah, it just has a coating on it. That's why it's so like shiny. No one's home there, right? Nope, nobody's right. home. Yep, it was, no. they weren't fertile. So they just tore it out. Wow. And but it's the equivalent to 24 chickens. 24 chickens, huh? Yeah. It's like, can yeah. you eat that? Yeah, people eat ostrich eggs. Oh, they do? That would be a lot you of eggs. You can eat those yeah. eggs, yeah. yeah. That'll raise your <laughs> cholesterol, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> a typical a ostrich egg like costs that. about $60. Beautiful zoo. Yeah, there you go. You got them both going right there. There's the choo choo. A lot of people on the train, huh? Yeah, because the park's so big, it'll take you from one side to the other. You can do a one-way or a round trip. It's kind of a fun little thing to do with the kids. You can get some popcorn, yeah, go on a ride, and see the animals. One way would drop you off around here, right? I would think. Walking up to the elephants here. Still in the African park. Nobody home. We leave and they come over here. They all come over. Look at all that. Got five elephants here. It's pretty cool. They got a pretty big area to roam. It's getting African hot. It is, but we're in Africa, so it's fitting. Oh, okay. Still the... It's like an elephant viewing area where you can like sit and watch Kind of like bleachers, huh? Yeah. Kind of relaxing, have a little picnic there and watch sure. the elephants. Some shade. They have music pumped in, African music. Kind of reminds me of Animal Kingdom in a way. You see the speaker? It's playing African music. You can hear it over the pounding. We got a little cafeteria here called the African Lodge. Outdoor, but it's totally different types of selections as opposed to normal zoo or theme park type of food. Like hot dogs and hamburgers? Yeah, so we'll show you the menu. Take a look at the menu. It's Tuster Grill, that African. sounds familiar. I know, it kind of reminds me of Animal Kingdom in a way. Going inside the African Lodge, kind of like indoor dining, I guess, if it got too hot. But you have to order outside. So I've made the mistake of coming in here and trying to order. You order outside and then you take your stuff inside. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Nice and air conditioned and cool. Yeah, away from the elements. Mm -hmm. That feels good. But you got a good view, you know, looking out. Have a nice break. Check that. Huge fan. Cool? Yeah. It's huge. Mm -hmm. Quick look at the bathroom. Pretty nice. 
Not bad for a zoo. Echo. It doesn't smell like a zoo in here. Nice tile. I think there's two train stations, one on the north side and one on the south side. We're on the south side of the zoo. This is all new. This is where you will load and unload. That's weird. A watering hole for the elephants. Look at that, huh? An elephant, I'd be in there all the time. Oh yeah, it's a little oasis. Nice. Some of your choices when you're in the African part of the oh, Henry that's Dorley Zoo. What that little thing was, that rock up here. How do you say it? Yeah. Kopi, maybe? Yeah, that little ground they looks like a little the, groundhog. Um, that's a groundhog, right? There's speakers in there. Checking out the music. So they're into something. I don't know what's we, under there. We've counted six elephants, right? He's so. pretty close to us. Japanese goldfish. Hmm? Koi? This is about the only time I feel safe when I'm on that sky fari is when I'm over the water. And it's probably your lowest drop. A lot of times they have monkeys in that tree. You see all the... Yeah, the yeah. And stuff where we play in. I just don't see any. Monkeys over there, yeah. I, I see a monkey. He's over there. Looks like you can pay a quarter and feed the ducks over here on this bridge. And you see all the fish and the ducks? Yeah, they're enjoying it. See the little guy? They're there. Where'd he go? Oh, he's up on the rock now. Talking. Look, Jason. Can you see him over here? Mm -hmm. Come on, Mr. Sea Lion. You gotta come up for air. I counted three, right? You think there's three? Here he comes. Saying hi. I counted three, I think. We got three for sure. Two under the bridge and one coming around. All right. Oh, there's three right next to each other. Maybe they're just fast swimmers. They look pretty big, don't they? If you bring your kids to the zoo, there's plenty to do. Say hi. Hi. Like it's laying an egg. Yeah, it's kind of a hole in there, isn't it? Still sticking with the African theme, going into the Madagascar exhibit. He's real green, isn't he? He was down here. Yeah. Left lizards. Getting all cleaned up. Just taking a bath. It's a lemur. You would not want to be walking and run across that. There it is. Yeah, I see it. Big fat one. It wouldn't be that bad running into them because they can't catch you. Look at him. Oh yeah, he's out of his show, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I think he's... Uh, he's getting some sun? Yeah, they're laying out right now. He's backing that butt up, isn't he? <laughs> this is a type of parrot in Madagascar. Hey buddy. I don't know what she... Yeah, but what is she vacuuming up, huh? Maybe the giant jumping rat. Let's see. I just clean it. 
heading into the nocturnal mammals of Madagascar. Fossa, lemur, fox, tenric. A couple of lemurs again. They're best friends cuddling. That is too sweet. It looks like they're holding hands too. Maybe he's hangry. I don't know. He's not hungry. Now he's just like sad before he looked bad, now he's getting over it. Oh, he knows he's on tape. Oh, now he's looking at you again. He's like, oh, now he's mad. Back you want a joke with me? A pig of the food. You want a piece of meat? You got your loving each other. Yeah, there's, oh, he's left out. That's why. Two's a company, three's a crowd. Well, nobody ever likes me and left out. Yeah, you're in the deep woods of Madagascar. You can look at this as being one giant bird cage, right, Kelly? It's called an aviary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. But no, I'm teasing you. You know what I mean. You want to walk in there? You can walk in there and. Uh, it's just a big breeze. Yeah. Probably. Buy food and drop it down below. You see the? Is that the flamingo? Yeah. And why? Why do flamingos have the pink color? Because of their diet containing keratin. Keratin. And uh, where, where in the human body is, do we have keratin? That would be our hair, hair and nails. Yes, right? hair and nails. Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm in the giant bird cage now, and it looks like they got more construction going on over here at the Henry Dorley Zoo. Always reinventing themselves. I see one. The flamingo. Hey, buddy. And he just hear the birds chirp. It's kind of relaxing. I think these two pigs are some kind of art. There's another pig. They're everywhere. I don't even think they have pigs in the zoo. Yeah, they do have a petting zoo. Maybe they got them down there. I'm looking for my wife. She went to go get a water. There's another pig. Check out the gorillas. Any in here? What are these guys called? Are you gonna play? Talking to mama. Drink. Can't really pronounce the name. Show it. Oh, look at the monkey's butt. Oh, he's itching it. Look at him. See? He's like, oh, that feels so good. Oh, no. Uh, don't, oh, don't even. Don't be digging and licking. Don't go there. Now, look at that monkey's butt. Bad dad. Look at the baby. Hey I saw that thing when he was the size of your hand. Yeah. Man, there's a big one over there in the corner, huh? Or gorillas. Look at that guy. Kind of a sun glare, but. Pretty big boy. The gorillas don't seem very active today. <laughs> There's one. That's Ooh. for that. Yeah. It's a big bird. I don't know what it's called. It's a big bird. It's called a hornbill. Looks like he's doing well, uh, meditating. See ya, buddy. See ya. So you leave the uh, leave the gorillas, and then you go. It's a good-looking waterfall. And you go over to the orangutans. 
right here. I don't know what we're gonna show you because we're kind of pressed for time. We gotta go get the kids at school. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel like you're on the Tower of Terror. Oh, no. <laughs> Not his favorite. Not mine either. <laughs> oh. I think that pretty much represents the screen size, that outside wall, right? Yeah, that's about how big the uh, the films are, the screen is. I don't know if it's like 80 feet or 90 feet. You can see what's playing. See, check it's out the IMAX. something like educational wise. So it'll be like on the Galapagos Islands or about whales. Currently playing is the sharks, great white shark, and you have the the ocean of Cousteau right and national parks. 3D. And members are free. Non-members, six dollars. And they have a concession stand, and they have really good popcorn. And if you're ever at the zoo, I'm a sucker for their ice cream. It's soft serve, and the twist is the best. With popcorn. It's like a sweet and salty thing. The shark movie is approximately 40 minutes. So if you bring your kid, this is where he tugs at you and says, Hey, I like my stuffed animals. Thanks for coming along, checking out the zoo with us. We'll try to show you the other half sometime, right, honey? Yeah, there's quite a bit more, actually. Yeah, there is. That's new, right there, that building. Brand new, and it's more of an educational type of center. So certain people who are interested in going into basically like animal science and that kind of stuff, even high school kids can apply to get into these programs and they come for part of their curriculum um, and take classes down here. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah, I, is it it's earning college? Education yeah, here, col so college even, credits? I think so, I'm not 100% sure. I know it's really new. Um, yeah. I used to bring my kids down here to do their 20 minutes of reading a day. They had to read the signs about the animals and counted that. So, I don't know, it's good education, good exercise, and tons to look at, and it's always different. Yeah, definitely. Seems like there's always construction here, and they're always. Uh, Even so, the animals' behaviors are different all the time. So, depending on the time of day or the season, weather, yeah. you know, it's just always something different. It's fun. Watch the curb. All right. Hope you enjoyed our zoo day.